bit about clefs. Clefs determine where we find our notes on the staff and what they sound like. There are many different clefs in the clef family, but today we are only going to discuss two of them. Treble and bass clefs are the clefs of our day. We find these clefs on the great staff, which is used to show the notes that are played on the piano. First, perhaps, we should look at the different ways in which they are constructed on the page. The treble clef, or G clef, has a swirling line that turns and turns, turns and turns, turns and turns. In fact, it seems to turn around one note more than any other. Do you see that line? Why, it's showing us the note G, and its name is the G clef. So boy, does that really make sense. But the bass clef, or the F clef, is it the note G as well? What sort of swirls does it have? But wait, it has two dots. I wonder if they're pointing to the line in between. Why, I bet they're showing the note F. Of course, and that's why it's an F clef and not a G clef. But why all this complicated fuss? Why these clef things anyway? Got it. We use the treble clef for the high notes and the bass clef for the low notes. Very clever indeed. I must admit, this does make a wonderful, great staff. In fact, this is what pianists use. Lucky pianists.